Okay, everybody, this is Andad71 on part four of our N NFL Optimizer uh, using Google Sheets. We've done the uh, setup, we've run the solver, we've uh, locked players, we've, you know, lock and stack, we've brought in the uh, way to read it easier so we're not going blind. And now we're going to add the next step, which is the multi, uh, you know, if you want to put in multi lineups, I'm going to show you what to do. All right, so the first thing I usually do when I do this. You know what? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to click it over here at the plus. We're going to open up a new sheet. That's how you open it. See sheet two. I'm going to name this just for the sake of doing it. Multi one. Okay, just so I can remember where and then I need it. Over here, you see we want to bring. Basically, we want to take this sheet and set it up again. But here's what we're going to do. Instead of copy and pasting, and every time we go to do something, we're just going to do this. Let me show you a little trick here. Probably some of you may know this already, but if you don't, it'll help. We're going to put equals. We're going to put A. We're going to backspace because I clicked A2. A1 and enter. Now you see that? Now watch this. We're going to drag this over. All right. What do we got here? We got the team of real. See how everything's coming over for us? There's your lock. You're in. All that fun stuff. We're going to pull it down to 202 spots. All right. So here we go. Uh, actually, let's go over these. I don't want the end column, now that I think about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and just delete that. The lock column can stay, because we're not going to use the lock column in this uh, next section. Uh, and we went down to our, okay, so... Here we got everything we needed. Usually I click on this and I just straighten it out so I can... I like my things aligned. I'm just kind of a weirdo like that. Uh, I'm going to put in, but the in's going to remain separate from the other sheet. Now, you notice all this information is exactly the same. The reason being is every time you set up your sheet every, on your multi-tabs, because we're going to run these tabs out. You could run 100 of these if you wanted to when I show you how to make them. Instead of going in and doing it 100 times over, the first time you put it in, that equals formula is going to drop all this stuff in for you on every single page. You just, every time you open a new page, you put equals, and it's going equals, and you click the page before it, A1, pull it over to H, pull it down to 202, and there's your information from now on. You don't have to keep doing that. Save yourself a lot of time. All right? So we're going back to sheet one. We've got the lock. I'm uh, sorry. We're going to go over to here. I'm going to take the in column, which I believe I already have, right? Did I? Yeah, I put in an in column over there. Okay. So we're going to take this column, and we're going to bring it over to here. We're going to press copy. We're going to bring it over to the sheet over here. See, Google Sheets a little slow sometimes. We're going to put it in. Paste. There it is. Now watch the zeros are going to show up in a second. See how they're there? Everything's just carrying over for you now. You don't have to remake this. Look, you go over to here. There's your name bridge and everything. You don't have to do that. But here's where the difference is going to be. Here's where the difference is. You see the points here? Where are the points? Points are over here. What we're going to put here is uh, the points we want. Leave that alone because it's got the formula in it. All this says all your formula is already set up as well. We're going to put equals here. Go back to our next sheet. We're going to click the points, okay? And we're going to minus whatever you want. I'm going to do 1.5. Now, that's if you wanted to minus 10% different than that score or you wanted to minus 20% different, uh, that's up to you. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you the score that I had minus the percentage that I put into it, okay? If you don't understand what I mean, I just took the score and I subtracted 1.5 from it. And here it is. Why? Well, because... This is going to set up, it's going to aim for that score, which is going to give you a different lineup because it's going for a different score than what the original score lineup was on this first sheet. And thus you're going to get your second sheet. So we're going to go over to here and we're going to load in the solver tools. How are we doing for time here? Yeah, all right, we got time. We're going to put in the, where's the tools? Uh, Add ons, open solver, open the sidebar. The only pain in the ass of this, forgive my French, is that you have to load this every single time, the solver. But, you know, worse things have happened. The objective cell, the points. Update. Okay. We want the variable cells. All right, we'll go over to the variable cells. Remember, that was the in, the in column, excuse me. The, uh, we're going to down to 202. 
right? All right, come on. Okay, there we go. We're going to add. Let's take that. It did. Okay, beautiful, because I shouldn't hit enter on that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, something went value over there. Why is that doing that? Let's delete that. Oh, I see why. Delete that. That was never on my pot. Sorry. Corrected it. You just want to go down, you run the variables, and you add them, just like we did on the last sheet. If you're confused on that, go back and watch the other video where we added it. Nothing's different. It's the same exact approach. Okay? Now, we're going to add the new variable cells, the constraints, right? So, okay, we're going to add a new constraint. Well, we know, as we said before, our salary has to be equal to or less than the 50000 because that's the rules of the game. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that. We know we need exactly nine players, not 11, not five. We need nine. So we update. You know what? Yeah, equal to nine. We're going to update that. We're going to save it. Then we're going to go into here. We're going to say this quarterback, we need one. It has to be equal to because we only need one. Whenever we need one, we use equal to, if you remember. Update. We're going to save it. Okay. Then we're going to go here, run it back update less than or equal to this update save this is where it gets monotonous if you remember this here update this is equal to or greater than this right update save okay then we're going to do this here update equal to or less than update save Something's not right here. Come on. It's just taking its time. Okay, there we go. Uh, Q9. Okay, okay. So we're going to go here. Update. Here. Update. Save. All right. Now we're going to go over to here. Update. Equal to a less than update save this one here two update bring it down it has to be greater than update save this one because it's only one if you remember we're going to be equal to here update save all right now here's the thing one thing about solver that I, this solver that i don't really like is it dumps the dives and what I mean by that is that when you run this projection, you want it to get it as close to the score as you can. This thing will literally give you back one point. Instead of optimizing up, it, it, it doesn't. Excel would never do that. This does it. That's unfortunately one of the downsides to it. If you kind of got to live with it. So what I figured it to do is I just add a close score to it. So it's 53.82. Let's say we want to go for, for 51. You know, Now you could do 52. Get as close as you want. Uh, so we're going to do a little thing here. We're going to say the points here, update have to be less than or equal to this update save then the points here update have to be greater than or equal to this uh, suggested score update we're saving it and if you remember the one thing we had to do before we have to do it with every time we make an optimizer is we go down the in column to 202 and we're going to make it binary if you remember we have to lock it in because if we don't we're going to get eight-tenths of a receiver or something, and that's just silly. We, we, there's nothing we can do with that. Update. We'll make it binary. Okay, save. All right, so now we have our sheet set up over here. Now we're going to, what are we doing for time? Okay, I'm going to have to stop it here because we're at 9 minutes and 34 seconds. So the next...